Peggy 18. Warning, no atmosphere detected. Borderlands the pre-sequel is about Handsome Jack's rise to power. It's a sequel to Borderlands 1 and a prequel to Borderlands 2. It's an all new, full, standalone experience. You're on Handsome Jack's team. You're gonna follow him in his rise to power. When we finished Borderlands 2 and as we dove into the DLC for it, we, we really had so much more we wanted to bring to the Borderlands universe. That's why it was so exciting to discover that the team down in 2K Australia was available. We talk to their designers, their designers talk to our designers. The design team is pretty much one design team. And that, pretty, that carried away over to every discipline, whether that be narrative, whether that be design, programming, art, um, it's all fairly much intertwined now. Everything that they bring to the table, everything that 2K Australia invents and adds to Borderlands is, is a surprise. I also am consuming all this stuff like a fan for the first time, and it's been a real treat. We've got four new character classes for Borderlands for a sequel. The first one being Nisha, the, the Warbringer. We have Athena, the Gladiator. We also have Wilhelm. Now, Wilhelm was from Borderlands 2 as well. Um, and one of the ones that we're really excited about is bringing Claptrap as a, as a playable character for the first time. One of the coolest things about Borderlands the pre-sequel is because it's built start as a starting point from the Borderlands 2 technology, it has all of, the, all of the advantages and all of the features and all of the capabilities of that game. And with the new environments uh, bringing low gravity and no atmosphere, there's a tremendous opportunity for, for new gameplay that the 2K Australia guys have just blown me away with. We've invented things like a low oxygen because it doesn't have an atmosphere, so what can you do with some mechanics with that with oxygen? So we haven't just made it a, a resource, we've made it into a strategy. Yeah, I when I first realized that I could use the oxygen tanks as a jetpack and uh, have longer jumps, have double jumps, I can hover, I can fly, I mean, it just added a whole new loop. And then when I'm up there, they added this new feature, I call it a ground pound. I don't even know if it has an official name, but basically when you're, when you're flying, when you're hovering, when you're midair, you hit the crouch button. Bam, you just smash straight to the ground, leave an impact, stun everybody. It's so much fun. Borderlands, the pre-sequel is going to come later in 2014. Uh, it's gonna come to the Xbox 360, the PlayStation 3, and Windows PC. It's a great time to jump in and check out what all the fuss is about.